Ladies, have you heard of the term Latinx? No. No? No. What do you think it means just by listening to it? Latinx? Yeah. Latin to the extreme. X. <laughs> Something Spanish and X-rated. <laughs> oh, I like it. Language is ever-changing, and that's certainly the case when it comes to defining people of Spanish-speaking origin here in the U.S. In 1980, the term Hispanic or Hispano-Americano was added to the census, but a lot of people had issues with that. They said it reminded them of the colonization by the Spanish and ignored the African and indigenous roots of many. Then, Latino was added to the mix, but Spanish is a gendered language, and the old favorite masculinity. So now, we have Latin X. But it seems that the only people using it are people in the media. I'm Dean Nasty, and I'm here in Washington Heights to ask people how they feel about the different terms. Sir, what do you think about the term Latinx? What do you identify as? Hispanic, Latino, or Latinx? I identify as Hispanic. 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 Hispano or Latina? Hispano or Latina? Latina, siempre. What is Latinx? It's a new term to be more inclusive of people that identify as men or women. It's also more inclusive for people that have Afro-Latino descent as well. Bueno, pues, yo no sé si son Latinx ni es men, pero yo sé que yo soy Latino y Dominicano, güey. Excuse me, I, I am not speaking English. ¿Está bien? ¿Yo estoy hablando en español, señor? No, French. Oh, French. Okay, por un francés. Do you identify as Hispanic, Latino, or Latinx? Latinx, for sure. Es como una diversidad. A lot of terms are used to kind of cater to men, yeah. and Latinx is a way to include everybody. Especially in this generation with like people being non-binary, like why do I have to identify with either or? It is a very inclusive term. Latinx is the most appropriate terminology for Latinos of color. People need to educate themselves. Knowledge is power. A lot of people have issues with the word Hispanic because they say that it recalls Spanish colonization but ignores African and indigenous roots. What the fuck do you mean? Like, like Spaniards have slaves. It's just the way it works back in the day. Porque como que todos somos hispanos, no importa que no sea de somos, todos somos hispanos, mexicanos, dominicanos, todos vengamos de de latino. Do you know any other people like in your inner circle that use the term? I do. As a gay man. A lot of people use that term in the community. It's a common term. With the group of friends that I have, they know that. We've spoken to a lot of people today, and some people don't even know what it is. A lot of people aren't educated. People aren't cultured. You gotta do it for the culture. You gotta be cultured. Para la patria, para la patria. <laughs> Simple. So do you see yourself adopting the term in the near future? Yeah, why not? Depending where I'm at, like, I tried it with my parents, and they're like, what is that? Whatever makes you feel better. At the end of the day, we all come from the same roots. Possibly. I love old culture, you know. Latina, Latino X, or like Latin X. Latin X. I think it's really positive. I think it's a really good way to kind of beat misogyny that's kind of woven into a language. I try to express to people the importance of knowing how to identify yourself. Like, regardless of what you want to call yourself, being Latino, that's the way. We got the salsa, we got the sauce. So we spoke to a lot of people today, and it was definitely a mixed bag. Some people prefer Hispanic, others Latino, and some Latinx. Others have never even heard of Latinx, but from what I gathered, the younger generation is definitely more receptive to it. Honestly, call me what you want to call me, but just know that for the next presidential election, 32 million of us are eligible to vote, so we need to show out. What's up guys, it's Dean Nasty. Thanks so much for watching that video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share, okay? Just like it, just subscribe. And share, share the video.